Right now at 6, Wisconsin is one of the hardest states to vote in, according to new research. Political science experts say a rise in recent voting regulations is due to claims of voter fraud. And speaking up about possible school threats, the latest numbers from a government program encouraging kids to submit anonymous tips about potential dangers. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 6. Good evening and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 6. I'm Ken Kozarowski. Amy is off tonight. The midterm election is just weeks away and according to a new study, Wisconsin is one of the hardest states to cast a vote in. News 8 Now's Dewey Estrada spoke to local political experts who explain why Wisconsin has seen an increase in voting regulations. Good evening, Dua. Ken, in 2020, out of 50 states, Wisconsin was the 38th easiest state to cast your ballot. In the 2022 edition of Cost of Voting in America, Wisconsin fell to 47th. In July, the state Supreme Court issued a ruling outlawing absentee drop boxes. Changes such as that one have made Wisconsin the fourth hardest state to vote in. Political expert Joe Heim says despite the state's recent changes to voting laws, Wisconsinites are still going to the polls in record numbers. When it comes time to vote in November. How inconvenient it is to register and to vote. Some Wisconsinites may find it hard to cast their ballot. I think for students uh, who I'm encouraging to vote, um, they encounter some challenges. Political expert Joe Heim says statewide there have been regulations and restrictions on registration, voter IDs, absentee ballots, and drop boxes. So Wisconsin has had its share of restrictions. For voter Carla Zell, changes to the state voting laws hasn't impacted her. To me, it's about the same. Um, I typically vote in person. I, you know, I go to the poll. But voter Keith Knudsen says not everyone can say the same. What about our homeless population? Um, they don't have an address. Are they going to be able to vote? And do we think they should not be able to vote simply because they're homeless? So I think we've got a lot of issues here in the United States. Although claims of widespread voter fraud were disproven, political analyst Joe Heim says the rise of frequent voting laws is a result of the 2020 election. In an attempt to to uh, solidify elections and make them more secure, make them more trustworthy. Uh, one party has has passed a series of laws to, uh, to avoid voter fraud. Heim says while voting laws may continue to be passed, a majority of Wisconsinites aren't being affected. Well, Wisconsin was in the top five uh, in terms of national voting in the 50 states, and we are still in the top five. Instead, voters are continuing to cast their ballots in record-breaking numbers. In the state of Wisconsin, the August primary saw the highest voter turnout in 40 years, a trend that Heim says is expected to continue for this upcoming election. All right, thanks very much, Dua. That midterm election set for November 8th. Well, Democratic candidate for Wisconsin's 3rd Congressional District, Brad Paff, held a roundtable with military veterans today. Paff met with several veterans at the VFW Legion in Bangor. The current state senator says it's important to hear what kind of issues are important to those who have served our country. And one Desert Storm veteran who attended the roundtable says not all veterans support the direction Paff's opponent, Derek Van Orden, has taken leading up to this election. The veteran says he's embarrassed and discouraged by Van Orden's presence at the January 6th attack on the Capitol. I think it speaks to the judgment and again the hypocrisy. You can't be a patriot on, on Monday and, a, and an insurrectionist on the next day and um, come back here and wrap yourself in the flag. Now Van Orden released a statement saying his military experience allows him to understand the issues facing the veteran community. As for January 6th, Van Orden released an op-ed to the La Crosse Tribune a week after January 6th where he watched, quote, what should have been an expression of free speech devolve into the one of the most tragic incidents in the history of our nation. He wrote that he left the area when it became clear the protest had become a mob. Time to switch gears. Send it over to Chief Meteorologist Bill Grawl for a quick look at your forecast. Good evening, Bill. Hi Ken, uh, temperatures definitely cooler today. In fact, uh, 10 degrees cooler from yesterday here in the cross with that high of 63. 63 also in Winona, 59 in Eau Claire, 60 in Sparta and 57 in Viroqua. Throw on top of that uh, some uh, rather breezy northwesterly winds and it was uh, a rather chilly fall-like day. Uh, lots of sunshine right now. We kind of had a mix of sun and clouds through the day, but those clouds were high in mid-level variety, so nothing falling from those clouds. Just a few isolated showers and sprinkles over far eastern parts of the state.
Most spots have slipped back into the 50s, but uh, La Crosse still at 60. Prairie du Chien still at 62 degrees. Now, uh, notice I have an alert night, if you will. Another uh, frosty night, potentially, for northern and eastern parts of the Vienna area. Uh, same spots that saw the uh, patchy frost last week are under the gun for temperatures in the low to mid-30s overnight tonight, early tomorrow morning. Lows in La Crosse around 41 degrees. I will detail that uh, frost advisory. Who's under uh, that advisory for tonight? And even colder numbers in store uh, for Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Details coming up. All right, thanks, Bill. Well, when it comes to school safety, noticing even the smallest of things can make a big difference. Speak Up, Speak Out is a government program that takes confidential tips from anyone with concerns over school safety. News and now's Emily Haugen took a look at the program's latest numbers and joins us in studio. Good evening, Emily. Ken, the program started at the beginning of the 2020 school year and new data from the Office of School Safety shows its usage is only going up. The sooner, the better. We encourage kids to report whenever they see a concern about their safety or the safety of others, and that can take a lot of different forms. Wisconsin Attorney General Josh Call says Speak Up, Speak Out has helped schools across the state do just that. We have trained analysts whose job it is to analyze the tips that they receive and ensure that an appropriate response is deployed. Those responses can range from alerting parents to involving law enforcement. The highest percent of reports are ones of bullying, with just over 26 percent. Threats of suicide are next. Though that may not be what you think of first when you hear school threat, Cole says those concerns often serve as warning signs. The students uh, who engage in school violence often go on a pathway to that violence, and the earlier in the process we can intervene, the less likely it is that an incident's going to happen. Last school year, the report says SUSO took in just under 2,000 tips, 15 percent more than the year before. Call hopes that awareness grows, as he believes this system has made it easier for anyone who needs it to send a tip. Students often will talk to each other about issues like this before they talk to an adult. Connecting students to resources in a familiar way. So the program was first funded by a federal grant and is currently running under ARPA funds. The federal funding for the program will run out in December 2023. Call says there is a proposal in the works to fund Speak Up, Speak Out at the state level. Ken? All right, thanks, Emily. Now, anyone can submit a tip using the Speak Up, Speak Out website by phone or by using their app. We'll post those resources on our website, news8000.com. La Crosse is the third city in the U.S. to be designated a heart safe community by the Citizen CPR Foundation. A heart safe community designation is given to towns that meet 13 criteria. Some of those include building public awareness of cardiac arrest and treatment, training 15 percent of the population to help someone in cardiac arrest, and having an AED registry. The executive director of Gunderson Tri-State Ambulance says having informed citizens can help save more lives. We as professional EMS providers or responders in hospitals, it, it's one thing, but what it really is important is, is that the person who witnesses a cardiac arrest at the scene of a cardiac arrest in our community initiates uh, 911, initiates CPR, and looks for an AED. The La Crosse Fire Department led the movement to reach the criteria for the Heart Safe Community designation. Workplace age discrimination is growing. Recent AARP research shows 62% of workers over age 50 report seeing or experiencing discrimination when at work. Experts say the issue is growing more prevalent since the COVID pandemic, despite a clear lack of awareness. It is one of those areas of discrimination that seems sadly all too common and acceptable relative to other forms of discrimination out there. And it is just as wrong and just as important for us to be vigilant about it. AARP says older workers should know their rights. You can find more information on news8000.com. High schoolers around the region are preparing for the workforce. Over 1,700 juniors from 28 school districts attended Western Technical College's Career Expo at the La Crosse Center. Professionals in fields like engineering and law attended to connect with students, and representatives from higher education in the military sat at over 80 tables to get kids thinking about their future. It's important to support the community, support the students, support the school districts. That's what we're all about. Um, so to be able to provide these opportunities for them is something that we're really proud of and, and happy to continue to provide for them. The expo has been running for over 15 years and is one of the largest expos in the area. Schools from La Crosse to Reedsburg were all invited. Still ahead, it's nearly time to kick on the furnace, but it'll cost more to keep that heat going. Reminders before you hit the switch on that thermostat. And later, those cooler temps mean fall colors outside. We've got the predictions for peak autumn leaves. 
Fall weather is here, and Menards has what you need for your lawn. Applying premium fall lawn food fertilizer to your yard will help prepare it for winter dormancy and ensure a healthy lawn in the spring. A 17-pound bag covers up to 5,000 square feet. It's $9.99 after 11% off. Keep your garage organized with our great selection of Suncast storage products, like the Platinum 4-Piece Storage Cabinet System. Get 11% off all Suncast storage products at Menards. Save big money at Menards. They're destroying America and our livelihoods. Now, D.C. elites are spending big on Brad Paff. The same beltway bigwigs who wasted taxpayer money that bailed out elite golf courses and luxury hotels are now thankful in Brad Paff's campaign because Brad Paff supported their big spending, price-hiking, reckless schemes. And that's why we can't send him to Washington. Congressional Leadership Fund is responsible for the content of this advertising. To everyone who loves great food, let us make you a meal the Wisconsin way. We cook each butter burger to order for you and the people you love, so it's the best part of your day. The best. The best. And every creamy scoop of fresh frozen custard, pure happiness. Pure happiness. Pure happiness. Because where Culver's comes from, and the heart of America's Dairyland. Our love. Our love for fresh food is as strong as our love for all of you. <laughs> from Wisconsin with love. Welcome, Welcome to Delicious. delicious. Meet Brad Path. He never had a job outside of politics. Seriously, he hung around long enough to climb that political ladder. He'll never fix Washington. He won't even try. Me, I spent 26 years fighting for our country. I served as a Navy SEAL, and I know how to get things done. I'm Derek Van Orden, and I approve this message. Let's try something different. Let's change the people we're sending to DC. Excel Energy says your energy bills are expected to surge 23% this winter. The company says it's not a price gouging tactic. It's because the cost of natural gas is at a 15-year high. News Now's Rob Romano details how you can prepare for that added cost. In the state of Wisconsin, Excel Energy has about 225,000 customers. The company projects that from November to March, the energy bill of its average customer will rise more than 20%. This 23% increase equates to about... Uh, $200 more for those typical customers. Spokesperson Chris Bollett says the latest surge is on top of the price increase that customers experienced last winter. It is on top of the double digit increase that we had uh, the year prior where uh, natural gas prices were um, escalating back in 2021. Bollett also says that Xcel Energy is not profiting from the increase in prices. She says the added costs are due to the higher price of natural gas nationwide. Less than 1% of that increase is due to costs from Excel Energy. So I think it's important for customers to know that we do not profit from the increase in natural gas. Uh, we do not mark that up. Well, that says there are ways to prepare for the higher heating costs that are expected this winter. She recommends getting furnaces inspected and getting furnace filters cleaned out before winter. She also says customers should contact Xcel Energy and ask about payment plans or energy assistance programs if they expect to have issues paying their bills. Vincent Grant moved into a new apartment two weeks ago after being homeless for about a year. He's concerned about paying higher heating costs after recently getting off the street. It's ridiculous. It's too high. How are we supposed to live? It's going to be real, real terrible because you're raising everything up and then you try to get a one-bedroom apartment. That's like, what, 700 some dollars. In the cross, Rob Romano, News 8 Now. And according to the Consumer Price Index, energy prices nationwide have risen nearly 24% since August of last year. Coming up next, the fall foliage forecast, when we will see peak colors in the Cooley region. And I'm Chief Meteorologist Bill Grawl. Frost possible for some tonight. In fact, frost possible the next three nights. I will detail that with my eight-day forecast up next.
Chart Industries, who are we? We are your history. With over 70 years serving our city, our state, and our planet. We are your workforce, employing over 300 people with a stable income and rewarding careers. We are your community, proud to be part of the Cooley region, supporting the causes that matter to you. We are Chart Industries, building a better tomorrow together. Career opportunities available. Chartindustries.com. Violent crime up across Wisconsin. Families nervous about their safety. Yet Mandela Barnes called for releasing half of Wisconsin's jailed inmates. That would mean releasing over 10,000 criminals right into our neighborhoods. 10,000 reasons your family would be in more danger. Barnes also supported defunding the police. 10,000 more criminals with fewer police to protect us. What could go wrong? Wisconsin Truth Bank is responsible for the content of this advertising. Chevy Silverado. It's got the power you want. And the capability you need to do the job so you can get to the important work. Find new moments, find new roads. Get a $500 cash allowance on all 2022 Silverado pickups with a 2.7 liter turbo engine. Plus, now during truck season, get a $1,000 accessory allowance toward a new Chevy truck with accessories. Visit hometownchevy.com. I'm Dave Estenson, and I've been a lot of things. Law enforcement officer, long haul trucker, small businessman, school board member, and a bull rider. I got tired of saying someone should do something. So I'm running for state senate to back the badge and help stop crime, fix our roads and the supply chain, bring common sense back to our schools, and stop the bull. Because I quit that a long time ago. I'm Dave Estenson, and I'd appreciate your vote. One window or a house, well, the board store's here to serve. Double hung windows, sliders, picture windows, crank out or bays and bows, energy efficient glass, many exterior colors, wood grain interiors, all fairly priced and always installed by the board store's factory certified installers. Need a patio door, entry door, same superior products, skilled installation and fair pricing. Join thousands of your neighbors who enjoy their windows and doors from the board store. Thank you for watching News 8 Now, our community, your station. If you have any plans on hosting that perfect fall wedding or photo shoot soon, you may be in luck. Fall colors are beginning to come back to the Cooley region. With cooler, crisp evenings in store, this year's fall leaves are expected to be normal. According to UWL scientists, the region will be in for a good fall foliage. I think uh, this year we'll have uh, uh, probably a really good good showing um, you know like I said lots of uh, reds and, and oranges you know and the maples oaks um, and then also other uh, sumacs already I think or I've been seeing a lot of those on my bike ride to work leaves are predicted to peak the second week in October and of course this region when the colors turn absolutely gorgeous and I don't know about you Bill but it's easier to kind of stomach the sudden frosty changes in temperature when the leaves are are, are nice and colorful out there yeah very true and uh, again good ingredients for that kind of the cool crisp nights the dry sunny uh, mild days uh, you don't want it too cold though that's a concern when we have uh, frost potential and that's going to be the trend the next three nights you don't want rain and you don't want a lot of high winds either for the those uh, fall colors. So we'll just have to see what the next couple of weeks have in store. But again, the next three nights, it's going to be chilly. Frost advisory from 2 to 9 o'clock tomorrow morning for Eau Claire in the Chippewa Valley. Also Clark, Jackson, Monroe and Juneau counties. Now these areas did see uh, some frost last week. So uh, kind of a second dose for you folks. Uh, temperatures low to mid 30s for lows in these spots. Uh, even colder temperatures though expected for tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. So keep that in mind if you want to protect outdoor plants that you want to keep alive and or outdoor plumbing. You'll want to protect that as well, again, especially tomorrow night. But let's start with the temperatures tonight. Uh, not a problem in La Crosse County, right around 41 degrees low in La Crosse. Uh, eastern parts of the county, probably mid to upper 30s. Uh, same with eastern parts of Vernon County, even eastern Richland County, seeing, uh, or I should say Crawford County, seeing temperatures in the mid to upper 30s. Coldest readings, Monroe, Jackson, uh, Juneau counties up into Clark County, low to mid 30s there, probably around 37 or 38 for the immediate uh, Eau Claire vicinity. Now, currently, skies mostly sunny. 63 was the high today. 51 the low. Average high is 71. 90 and 29 the records. No rainfall. Uh, saw a little bit of rain over the weekend. Up to 1.66 inches total for the La Crosse Airport this month. 60 out at the airport. 61 downtown. 
blustery winds today, north-northwesterly at 10 to 20, gusting over that at times. 58 degrees in Eau Claire, north to northwest wind there at about 10 miles per hour. So some nice uh, mild conditions farther to our west, 70s and 80s for those folks. Locally, though, most spots have slipped back into the 50s, 60 in exception in La Crosse, 61 in Prairie du Chien. Again, everyone else in the mid to upper 50s. Still kind of breezy, northwesterly winds 10 to 20, still some gusts upwards of 20 to 30 miles per hour over parts of southeastern Minnesota and northeastern Iowa. So just some high clouds streaming through. Any rain showers well to our east as an area of low pressures over the eastern lakes. But cold uh, or cool northwest flow aloft will have temperatures uh, below average for the next several days. Uh, mostly clear tonight, just some passing clouds towards morning. Lots of sun tomorrow, uh, some afternoon clouds, especially in our eastern communities, and then clear widespread tomorrow night and into uh, Wednesday is looking uh, sun, uh, mainly sunny as well. Now temperatures tomorrow on the cool side, though, mid to upper 50s for highs might flirt with 60 in the La Crosse area, and uh, most spots will see highs in the 50s, mid to upper 50s down to the south, mid to upper 50s in uh, areas to the north and east as well, right around 56 for a high in Eau Claire. So for tonight, mostly clear, decreasing winds, so chilly, 41 in La Crosse, but that frost potential north and east. Tomorrow, continued cool, sunny to partly cloudy, highs in the 50s for most, 61 on Wednesday, again, chilly, widespread frost, maybe even some freezing temps in the 20s to the north and east on Tuesday night, 35 for the low in La Crosse, more patchy frost Wednesday night into Thursday morning, but look at the temperatures as we head into Oktoberfest here in La Crosse, upper 60s on Thursday, lower to middle 70s for highs. Beautiful festival weather for Friday, Saturday, the big parade and Sunday as well and staying in the mid 70s into the start of next week. And I will take the chill the next couple days for a perfect Oktoberfest. Yeah, it's looking day. nice. All right. Thanks, Bill. OK, coming up next in sports, a wild week three in the NFL. The Vikings making a late comeback over the Lions and the Packers passing a tough test on the road. Green and gold making it two straight looking to get healthier as well. Rob's up next. CityCam 8 is brought to you by The Board Store. A new entry door is like a smile on the face of your home. As the only Provia Platinum dealer in the area, The Board Store can help you design the door that welcomes you home. When we got pregnant with Lizzie, we were so excited. So when the complication started, it was really scary. We never considered ending the pregnancy, but those are the kinds of decisions only a family can make. But Derek Van Orden wants the government to do it, banning all abortions, even when a woman's life is at risk. I'm Betty. I'm Lizzie. And I'm Brad Path. I approve this message because I'll never stop fighting for your right to choose. Hypnotize your way to savings. Breathing techniques to help you save. Looking to make saving a habit? Yeah, what's the secret? No secret. Just open a savings account at BMO and we'll give you a cash reward for every month you save. A cash reward? Just for saving. Mm hmm And when you open a checking account, we'll give you a $300 bonus to get your new savings habit started. Love that. What's your book? How to get a $300 bonus and a monthly cash reward for saving with BMO. He literally wrote the book on saving. Has me on the cover. When a bank helps you make real financial progress, that's the BMO effect. The power to change your future is now the suvs are here be one of the first to drive a new explorer bronco sport or edge custom order your suv today lock in 2.9 percent financing for 60 months plus 500 retail order bonus cash on a new 2023 ford explorer bronco sport or edge I received a call that my granddaughter had been hit. She suffered a serious brain injury and nearly died. The driver should have been in jail. Mandela Barnes supports no cash bail that puts criminals like Daryl Brooks back on the streets. He's more worried about criminals than victims. Mandela Barnes doesn't have the judgment to keep our community safe. Senate Leadership Fund is responsible for the content of this advertising. News 8 Now Sports is brought to you by Mayo Health System. Here's News 8 Now's Rob Schiff. Well, it wasn't the prettiest win the Packers ever had, but a win is a win, especially when it's on the road against Tom Brady. And after a rough week one performance, the Green and Gold have now won two straight. It was a great start for Green Bay on Sunday. The Packers making it look easy early on. Two long touchdown drives had Green Bay up 11 with just under nine minutes to go in the half. But that was it for points. All the onus being put on the Packers' defense to keep this one in reach. That's exactly what they did. 14-12 the final from Tampa as the Packers improved to 2-1 on the year. 
and a familiar face was back for the pack yesterday. David Bakhtiari hadn't played since week 18 of last season, but the 10-year pro finally back on the field for Green Bay. He split series with Yash Nyman on Sunday, so Bakhtiari playing 34 of the 61 snaps for the Packers. After the game, Bakhtiari said the adrenaline makes it hard to gauge where he's at physically, but he says it felt great to be back with his teammates and get an important win on the road. I think for uh, our season and this team, and then particularly, you know, for the guys that were here in 2020, and then, I mean, even for me, my, I got knocked out of this game. I remember this morning I broke my rib. So to come back out here and finish the game, uh, beat them, uh, I think there's a lot of positive takeaways. I'm just fortunate, blessed, happy. So good news there for Green Bay. A big win for the Pack. They'll be back at Lambeau next Sunday to host the Patriots. Big win for the Vikings as well. Minnesota back at home Sunday after a tough loss Monday night. For most of this one, it looked like the Lions were going to get the upset, but the Vikings waking up late. 14 unanswered in the fourth quarter, capped off by this K.J. Osborne touchdown in the final minute. And Minnesota escapes with a 28-24 win. Simply with the group of guys that we have, we're never out of it. Um, with the coach that we have leading the way, we're never out of it. So just lean on one another as you see out there, and uh, it all came together at the end of the day. Vikings head overseas next weekend to take on the Saints. That's an early one, 8.30 yeah. in the morning on Sunday. You think Amy will wake up for that or not? I think so. I mean, this is the Vikings year, according to her. <laughs> right. But so cool to see Bakhtiari back. There was I a time agree. when I think all of us thought, is he actually going to play football yeah. again? Because yeah. that was a long rehab process. He had to have another surgery on that knee. Mm -hmm. So cool he was cool limping last week at practice. And yeah. just everyone's speculating on when he's coming back. So I know. Fingers crossed the rest of the year that he can stay healthy. Yep, absolutely. But thanks, Rob. You got it. We'll be right back to wrap things up. Connect with us on Twitter at News 8 News. Or you can always find us at News8000.com. It's Terrific Tuesdays at hy V. This Tuesday, hy V orange juice, only 49 cents. And Mia Italian single topping pizzas, only $5. Tuesday only. And visit hy Deals.com for even more deals. At a company, the culture comes from the top. Tim Michael's company has been sued numerous times over sexual assault and harassment in the workplace. Women who worked for Michael's company said they were groped, assaulted, and pressured to have sex with their bosses. Higher-ups at Michael's dismissed the women as liars and even fired those who spoke out. Is that what we need for Wisconsin? Tim Michael's, too radical, too divisive. In every department at Dull Auto, you'll find people who've been in the industry for decades. Sales staff with a deep knowledge, not just of cars, but how to build relationships. A service team who always double checks each other's work. Dozens of people you may never meet who've been working for years to make buying and servicing a car feel fast and easy. In over 100 years at Dull Auto, we've learned to value experience. After working with our team, you'll value our experience too. Dull Auto, simple. It's Terrific Tuesdays at hy V. This Tuesday, fresh, boneless, skinless chicken breasts, only $1.99 a pound, and ramen, only 99 cents. Tuesday only. And visit hyvdeals.com for even more deals. Chilly tonight, 41 in La Crosse, but uh, frost advisory north and east where overnight lows dip into the low to mid 30s. Even colder temperatures for tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. A look at those 70s by the weekend. I love right. to see it. Thanks, Bill. Thanks so much for joining us tonight at 6. We appreciate your time. We'll see you at 10.